it's Nova Rose, the beauty nerd. Please ignore the pimples, the red spots on my face. I have a couple of pimples that have decided to spring up, so they're just gonna kind of be here. I'll explain as to why they're there a little later, but today we are doing a super, super exciting video. Um, I might have to push you guys back a little bit because as you could probably tell by the title, today I am trying out the Milk Ec Melt different brand, um, X Beetlejuice Collection. Okay, let me push you guys back. Just, is that better? Okay, that's good. Turn that up a little bit. So, Melt Cosmetics. I fucking love Melt Cosmetics. They recently released the um, Melt X Beetlejuice Collection, and I picked it up on their, uh, on their secret um, Friday the 13th sale. Um, it was originally 350 bucks altogether. I am paying for it with Afterpay. Thank God for Afterpay. Um, it's been a lifesaver recently, so thank God for Afterpay. Thank you, Afterpay. Um, but I think it was like 460 something, uh, uh, you know, originally or something like that. It releases the 25th of November, but as I said, I picked it up when... Um, when it was like at 9 a.m., exactly at 9 a.m. on Friday the 13th when they, cause if you signed up for their email list, you got like the password and all that. So I did it. Um, now I have a slight confession to make. Please don't kill me. I actually haven't seen Beetlejuice, the movie, or like the stage production. Please don't kill me, I'm sorry. I will watch it eventually, but I don't know. I've been watching other stuff right now and like my life is far too busy as you can probably tell with my inconsistent uploads. Life of a college student and also I work, so. And it's getting into Christmas season and I work retail, so I'm busy, sorry. Um, but anyway, here is what, oh my God, the box looks like. Yeah. So this is the box, oh, there's a drawer. <laughs> um, and it is kind of a like uneven like trapezoid, which is really cool. It's got this nice, um, thing so it says Beetlejuice um, and Melt Cosmetics. It's black and then green, of course. And now let's see. So this is this is the top. So as you can see, great. Like it's this this is the PR box and it's absolutely gorgeous. So you get like this nice little scene. I'll have to figure out a place to display it because unfortunately this thing is big, but it's beautiful. Um, and then you have. Oh my god, sorry. This thing is like heavy. So you have, let me see if I can hold it with my head. The three gel liners right in the center, two palettes, mascara, eyelash curler. You have like the liquid lipsticks right up there and then the regular lipsticks down there. Whew. <laughs> and then in the bottom little drawer here, let me put this down on my thing. Can I pull out the drawer? Let's find out. I can, good. So in this bottom little drawer, you get um, a couple cards. And here's the campaign photos, which are freaking gorgeous. And then you kind of get this little sticker, which I think I'll put on my newest skincare fridge. By the way, I got another skincare fridge. So this is my second one. Here's my first one. <laughs> I may do a video of what are in my skincare fridges because honestly now I have two and I feel like I need to do that. But anyway, this will go on here. Put that on later. And then you get this little brochure um, that basically kind of just has all like the information and all the ingredients and all of that fun stuff. So put those kind of over there. And then you have the brush set the eye brush set, the um, brush pouch, and then you have the mirror. So I guess I'll kind of start taking everything out. We'll do a little comparison kind of thing. So I'm gonna bring you guys back in and we'll kind of do a uh, more like talk through of the products. I love how I say move you guys in and it's basically me just pulling my light forward. <laughs> so. This is my regular mirror. This is the mirror that I use. This is like a Con Air mirror that I got at either Target or Walmart and I just put stickers on it. And then this is the little Beetlejuice mirror that they uh, 
provide, not provide, you can buy, and obviously that's what the mirror looks like. Little bit of a size comparison. This is technically, I think, more of like a hair mirror, but I feel like it good, works good as a hand mirror. Also, this one looks pretty good, so you can kind of get up close. So, like that. And then for the brush, brush pouch, this is kind of what it looks like. It's got the sandworm on it. Um, it says milk. It looks like this inside. It's got that familiar striped um, stripes. <laughs> then you got the little pouch. So that's super cute. There is a dog licking my foot currently. And then you have the brushes, which I will take out. So these are what the brushes looked like, look like. Um, now I'm not an expert on brushes, but you know, you got a nice like set of brushes. Do they have like names? No, they do not. But they have the half black and white split. Here is what the handles look like. And then they also, they all say milk and, why do I keep saying milk? Melt and Beetlejuice. <laughs> So that's what they look like. Go ahead and put this on the floor. I don't know where to put these. And then we'll go to the the other other products in like the main section. So we'll go with the I guess the lipsticks first. So these are just the regular kind of like lipsticks in the tube lipstick tubes, I guess as one could call them. So you have, whoa, this one's fallen out. You have uh, Calypso, Ghost with the Most, um, and then Miss Argentina. Two of them are ultra matte lipsticks, and then one of them is an iridescent. Yes, iridescent. So Calypso is the iridescent. It is a beautiful purple color. I don't, I guess I'll give you guys a swatch some of this stuff. So, put this down. Oh, and then you got the, I guess, kind of the sandworm engraved on the side. I don't know if you're going to really be able to see that, but there it is. Go ahead and just give it a nice little swatch. Hmm, this is the iridescent lipstick. Definitely has a little bit of shimmer. So, that's what that one is. The tubes are like neon green and I love it. And then we'll go with, this is Ghost with the Most. Ooh, this is a green, I love this. So this is what this one looks like. It's a beautiful green color. Oh my God, yes. This is like a swamp green, I love. So that's Ghost with the Most. Making sure I know all these names. And then we have Miss Argentina, which is a gorgeous, like kind of bright or red color. Sorry, like I'm, anyway, me, hey. is that better? I'm trying to like, I do a little bit over like a couple swatches just cause these are a little stiff and you kind of need to warm them up. So that's that, very pretty. I think these are all really cool colors. Definitely up my alley. And then here we have the, what are these called? These are called electric lip paints. Okay, now we have these. These are the electric lip paints. These were like in there, stuck in there. So you kind of have a pinky red kind of color. We have like a purple, a lighter purple, and we have a darker purple. And they all look very nice and sparkly. So we'll go ahead and swatch them. So this one is weird, weirder and weirder. This is what the applicator looks like. Very similar to kind of um, my NYX liquid suede lipsticks applicator wise. So that's weird and uh, weirder and weirder. Very pretty, like sparkly purple. Sorry, I'm a little bit shaky if you notice that. And then we have It's Showtime. Go ahead and swatch this one right here. 
Can you even see that? Yeah. That's it's not a not a great swatch. It's the one thing I really cannot do with swatch here. There we go. Beautiful. And then we have strange and unusual. I'm a big Tim Burton film fan, so I don't know when I found when I saw this collection. Plus, I love the aesthetic of Beetlejuice. And there is strange and unusual, I believe. There we go. Okay, so that is the lipsticks. So I guess next up, I'll show you the gel liners. There's three, three of them that are that come with this collection. Everything is like stuck in. Here we go. All right. So you have a kind of purpley color. <laughs> this is black. A kind of light green, and then a gray. So you have 125 years, and these are the Ultra Matte Gel Liners. I'm excited to kind of try these out. Um, I don't generally work a lot with gel liners. I tend to uh, work more with like pen type eyeliners, but I mean like more calligraphy pen type eyeliners that have like the individual hairs. For example, my favorite eyeliner is the Epic Ink Liner by um, NYX or the Tattoo Liner by KVD. Um, used to be until I found the NYX one and then that one was my favorite. What are you doing, ma'am? Ma'am, get out from under there, ma'am. And then we have this one, which is kind of like a yellowy, greeny color. The packaging is beautiful, by the way. And this one is the Afterlife. And then we have Utterly Alone, which is a metallic kind of purple color. Hey, where'd you go? Come here. Where'd you, where are you? Goldie, friend. Goldie. Hi. Come here. Come here. You want to say hi? Why? What are you doing? Okay. Yeah. Want me say hi? Don't lick my face. Do not lick my face. Don't lick my face. Stop. Don't look over here. Look. Let everybody see your beautiful face. The other one's sleeping. As usual. <gasps> Put you down. This one is always by my side. Um, anyway, sorry, those were the gel liners. Um, and then this comes with, before we do the eyeshadow palettes, I'm going to, this collection also comes with a mascara and an eyelash curler. Again with, I don't really work with eyelash curlers that often, but this is what this one looks like. It's red metallic, so maybe we'll give it a shot. I've always been kind of scared of eyelash curlers, not gonna lie. And then, Here is the mascara in a red tube. It's ultra black, supernatural lash mascara. Let us look at the brush. Looks like an okay brush. We'll have to give it a go. Um, always interested. My favorite mascara, by the way, is the um, Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. That's my go-to. So I'm gonna close up the box now and I'm going to put the box on the ground. This is a beautiful box. I have to figure out like where to like display this like and to be able to like display it so I can you can see the little thing. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, on to the main event which are the two eyeshadow palettes. So you have recently deceased and then you have waiting room. Here's the packaging. You got the stripes. You got the spiral. Go ahead and open up Recently Deceased, which is going to be more of the purple and green. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. It's beautiful. Here's what the back looks like. So open this up. It's got a really big mirror. And then the cover is actually like, I guess a little like film strip kind of scene. I wish, can, is there a way to like, can I put it high? Is it gonna work if I, nope, that's not gonna work. I don't know, I wish I could show you. There we go. It's kind of like a little film strip kind of thing. Like it has a little scene from the movie, which is really pretty. Um, 
and there's that so here is what the palette looks like as you can see it's mostly well actually it's got a row of purple and a row of like greeny kind of colors so you got beetle goose <sighs> sorry paranormal draw a door neurotic recently deceased lost souls little accident and bio exorcist so that's what that one looks like beautiful i'm interested to see do i i don't really want to swatch these um i'm interested to see how these perform because i haven't really been too impressed by melt shimmers um in my other palettes that i own like the mattes are great i don't know how i feel about the shimmers but we'll give it a go and then we have a waiting room So this is what this one looks like. And then this one also has a little like film type thing. I wish like, by the way, that's what that looks like. And then this one has, looks like this. I think this one's got a couple more shades. Yeah, this one has eight shades. This one seems to have ten. So this just has two more. And this is more of a red kind of gray-black color scheme. I'm interested. Shimmers feel super, super nice. Yeah. So I just, I just touched into Sod Girl. Oh, wow. Yeah, that looks pretty. That looks really nice. So... I think these are gonna be better than their normal ones, but again, we'll give it a go. Let me just wipe off my swatch. Okay. So, I'm going to test out one palette today and test out the other one, do one look for today and then one look for tomorrow. So. I don't know which one I want to, I kind of want to, let's see, what do, what do I want my vibe to be today? Let's test out the waiting room palette today and then we can do the recently deceased one tomorrow. So I'm throwing my hair up, I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit. So I don't exactly know what I'm going to do today. But I think we're gonna play with the waiting room palette today. So again, here are the colors. I have to figure it out. First step um, is I'm gonna take some Anastasia uh, eye primer, just dot that on my eyes. I'm gonna start out with this eye just to kind of like figure out what I'm doing. I always usually do one eye at a time. Um, I'm starting to like run out of this eye primer and it's actually annoying me. Well, alrighty then. My eyeliner decided to squirt, squirt, my eyeliner. Try that. I'm just taking that little sponge. Going to well since I squirted out a little bit more, we'll just kind of blend it onto the other eye. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Also, if you can hear my stomach, <laughs> I ate food recently, so. Grab my trusty tape. I hate when hair like doesn't get into the ponytail. Unfortunately, I also just recently like shaved the sides so my hair gets stuck. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the brushes. I think I kinda wanna try this one out. I don't. 
I'm gonna go in with Charman, which is this black color. I'm gonna start working that into the crease. And kind of start blending up. And then I think I'm going to take No Exit kind of on the same brush. Blend, start blending that along the top. obituary a bit of charm on again and just kind of blend it together okay I think I'm gonna take, this is just one of my regular brushes. I'm gonna take a little bit of Juno and use it as a brow bone highlight. Ooh, that one's nice. And then kind of take the same brush and blend a little bit. There we go. I want to put a lid color on, but black is a thing. So I'm going to take some of that. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on top of the black just to give that shadow that I want to put on my lid a fighting chance. Can I have a nice base for it? Take sod girl, a little crumbly. Super pretty. And then take that brush, take a little bit of Charmian, and just kind of blend edges so it doesn't look so harsh okay so now I'm gonna do eyeliner and I'm just gonna use my regular epic ink liner and I'm just gonna do a quick wing and I'm gonna go off camera and do that and I will be right back okay so I'm back so I finished the liner and now I'm gonna go again off camera do the other eye um, and then we'll come back to do the kind of the lower lash line and probably the lips and then of course test out the mascara as well um, But I don't think I'm really gonna include any of the face makeup because that's not really what the video is about So I will be back with the other eye on my base on and all that kind of stuff and Yeah, we'll do the lower lash line the mascara and the lipstick So, See you in a quick second go ahead and use this okay oh let me zoom y'all in just a little bit there we go okay so obviously base is done and I put a little bit of brown liner just in my waterline so um let's see I need to do mascara so we're gonna go in with the Beetlejuice mascara
like an alright mascara. I don't know if I necessarily have any opinions on it. Give that a quick moment to kind of dry. And I'm trying to find my eyeliner because there's a little speck of, there's a little part of my eyeliner that's messed up and I'm, it's annoying me, found it. Try and fix that. There we go. Okay. So, I'm going to move on to lower lashes. And I'm going to go in first with Charman. And then I'm going to kind of smoke it out with a combination of No Exit and um, Obituary. I'm going to go in with this brush actually. And I'm going to take this brush and go in with No Exit and Obituary. And then for inner corner, I'm going to go in with Juno. I'm going to set my face and I'm going, to, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. I'm going to now go off again. Um, let my hair down, put my earrings in, change my clothes, and I will be right back. So, um, lipstick. We have, like, many, many options. I kind of want to go, if I can find it, I kind of want to go with this one, which is weird and weirder and weirder. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. So. completed look one trying out the waiting room palette um, next we're gonna do I actually like how everything performed the lipstick is very pretty um, so next we're gonna try out that'll be probably I'll film that tomorrow um, don't exactly know how long this video is gonna be but hopefully we can this will be just kind of like an extra long one but tomorrow I'm gonna try out the recently deceased palette and yeah so i like how the this performed uh performed really well i like how this look came out so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow for the second look trying out the second palette okay so it's actually been a couple days and uh i haven't had time to like film this part so we're trying to film it today um, as you can see, I have one eye kind of already done with the purple colors. Um, so obviously we are playing with the recently deceased palette. So this is what the color scheme looks like if you've forgotten. Very purple and green, which I love. So this is what this, the packaging looks like if you've already forgotten. <laughs> Um, it's been a couple days for me, so like I've kind of forgotten what I was doing, so and it's obviously not gonna look like that to you guys. My dog just yawned if you heard that. But anyway, I actually ended up doing my brows today with 125 years, which is the gray like eyeliner, and I kind of like how they came out. What are you barking at? 
Don't come over to me. It's coming over to me. But anyway, so we're playing with this palette today. So my concept for this kind of look was a little bit of the opposite of the look that I had done before. A little less structured, a little bit more like kind of just smoked. I don't know, just kind of like more blobby. So that's what we're going to do. Also, if you can tell that my bumps have gone down just a tad bit, which is nice. Um, I didn't actually explain what they were from. Uh, basically, I'm currently on my cycle, so pimples happened. So starting off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. Obviously. Let's see, do I have my little sponge somewhere? I also felt like doing my, my eyebrows a little blobbish like, so. Okay. I guess I'll zoom you guys in just a tad bit. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the shade Lost Souls and I'm going to just kind of pack it all over my lid and kind of blend upwards. And I've got this brush that I'm going to take more of the color on and blend it through my crease and start working upwards. This is one of the brushes from the line. I don't know what it's called. Kind of like that. Next, I'm going to take um, Bio Exorcist on the same brush and I'm just going to use that to kind of, I guess, like smoke it out. I don't know. And then taking a little bit more of Lost Souls to kind of in with brow bone highlight and I'm going to use the Aurora glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to be using Specter, Spectra whoops and it's this nice purple color and we're just going to take that along the brow bone okay so now for eyeliner I'm going to go in with the NYX epic ink liner and just do kind of a simple little wing on my eye like I did this eye. So, sorry I'm out of focus a lot. Go ahead and just cleaned up the under eye. Before I put on mascara, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of moisturizer. And then for mascara, I'm gonna be going in with the Beetlejuice mascara. This is the Ultra Black Supernatural Lash. actually a pretty good mascara um, I've been trying it out for a little bit so all right so I'm actually so this is basically the eyes almost done I'm gonna go off camera now and do my base makeup and we will be back to do like the lower lash line and the lips be right back. okay so we're back um, I have done my base makeup as I said I was going to. Let's see. This one needs to be cleaned up a little bit with eyeliner. There we go. Okay. 
So, for lower lash line, I'm going to go in with Beetle Goose. I don't know. This one and then also this one just to kind of like smudge it out. And then probably for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with Neurotic. So, just giving you a little play-by-play play of what I was playing. I like to take it a little bit down and kind of make like a clown look, so. Um, I think for the other, I'm just gonna use this shade because I like this, just that on its own. Put a little brown liner in my waterline. Okay. And then I'm gonna use this little brush and I'm gonna take neurotic. And what I'm going to do is place this on the inner corner. Also, I'm going to take it and I'm going to kind of place it under my eyes and down that little like shape that I've kind of created. Just almost looks like it, you know, I'm crying just a tad bit, I'm crying beautiful tears. Okay. So, setting spray. Setting spray. Where's my setting spray? We'll go with this one. This is the Too Faced Do You Setting Spray. Okay. Now I'm going to, again, go off camera and change my shirt. I uh, put my hair down, put my earrings in, let this kind of set, and I will be right back to do the lips, and then we will talk about my final thoughts on the collection. So, I will be right back. All right, we're back. So, hi. I added stars. Um, I look like a clown, and I'm okay with that. That was kind of my aesthetic today. <laughs> um, but anyway... So for lipstick, I wanted to try out one of these, uh, like just regular lipsticks. What are these called? These are called ultra matte lipsticks. And I kind of wanted to try out uh, Miss Argentina, which is this kind of like, I think it's more of an orangey red, but I figured why not? Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> so I'm gonna try out uh, Miss Argentina. See how this looks. The lipstick is done. It's definitely not my favorite formula. It's a little bit too dry and sh um, and um, stiff for me. Uh, so I don't know how often I'll be using these lipsticks. I definitely think if I go out later, I will change it to like a black lipstick just for more like comfort reasons um, because black is my kind of comfort color uh, but otherwise I kind of I enjoy how the look came out 
Uh, let's see. Let's let's talk about the product, shall we? Okay. So we'll talk about the brushes. Um, as you can kind of tell, uh, this one is probably going to be one of my new go-to brushes. It's a good size for kind of what I like to do with my makeup. The brushes seem to be good quality. Uh, I definitely need to, we'll try out this one and the other ones, but I like the brushes and I think they're good. The, uh, like, bullet lipsticks, I will have to keep playing with these. They're not my favorite formula, but... Sorry, that was a weird sound from outside. But they, I can't really feel them on my lips, so that's nice. Um, they don't seem to be too drying, as it were, um, but... Yeah, they are definitely really pretty and I'll probably put them in like one of my lipstick holders in the back just kind of as display. I like the colors. I like how you get like a purple, a green, um, and then a kind of bright orangey red. It seems like, like a good couple colors for this season. Um, but yeah, the mirror um, I really like. It's a great small mirror that you can kind of get up and close. So definitely can see myself using this in future videos as like my new hand mirror. Am I super close? Let me go. I have everything like behind me. Um, the lip paints I like. I like a lot. I think they're super cool colors and these are definitely going to be something that I continue to use. Um, because I love these colors and I also love more liquid lipsticks and lip paints. I can definitely say that Weirder and Weirder is going to be one of my new like go-to colors because it's a super dark dark purple and I love dark colors So but these are great The gel liners and pigments um, again. I'll have to keep playing with them. I think they perform well I did use utterly alone, which is the purple pressed pigment paint and it's the purple it's the Utterly Alone Pigment Paint. Um, I did use this on an off day as like eyeliner and I think it worked pretty well. The gray one seems to work pretty well as like brows, but I'm sure it'll work great as like eyeliner as well, like that one. The green one, um, I tried a little bit, but like I'll have to keep trying. Seems like a good color as well. I like these. The mascara, um, I think it's a decent mascara. Is it gonna be my new, like, go-to favorite mascara? Not really, I still enjoy the Essence one a little bit better. Um, but I will obviously continue to use this gorgeous packaging. I love. Eyeshadow curler, I have no opinions on. I don't even know where it is right now. Uh, I don't use eyeshadow curlers. I'm sure it's fine. I just don't use eyeshadow curlers. Last but not least, the palettes. I really love these. These are both color schemes that I enjoy. Um, I can definitely see myself using the reds and then the grays as well. Shimmers seem to be worlds better than my other palettes which are up there. Um, these are super soft, creamy, like buttery, great shimmers. Like, so much better shimmers than these. Um, recently deceased palette, beautiful. I go for purples and greens. I love purples. I love... I love both of these palettes. These are color schemes that I both adore and um, I will definitely use these more often and I will I'll get my use out of these. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous and yeah, that's about it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that little bell icon to get my post notifications. My social medias will be listed down in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay beautiful. Bye.